I had a great day today. I started the morning off by writing a couple of thousand words of my book two in a series of cosy mystery novels. The book one was released last Friday and you can get it for free to read in Kindle Unlimited. So if you check down in the comments below, you'll see the link to where my book is available for Kindle Unlimited readers to read for free on Amazon. Now I went out sketching with Tess. I took out my little motorised disability scooter for the first time. I've got a higher one and uh, Tess sat between my feet on the dashboard and I took my pen and inks out and I worked with this uh, Deatramentus permanent document ink. And well, I live in Kangaroo Flat, so guess who I met? The kangaroos. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to do a little bit of a caricature of them. Just a quick line sketch. And I'm using the Red Ray. It's a marvellous colour for sketching and for writing. Now, I'm working on the beautiful Fabriano watercolour paper. Later on I'll work in my journals and I'll be working on the Tomio River paper on one of them. Now I'm just trying to do quick illustrative work because as I said I'm going into a very busy stage of my life again now. Once I start writing a novel trying to fit a bit of artwork in at the same time is quite difficult so my artwork is going to be very sketchily um, very quick and uh, I'm basically sitting down before I go to bed in my nightdress because this is when I would normally do my journaling so I'm showing you the way I would normally work and my journaling is to represent a little bit of what happened in my day it's um, it's a goal setter it's an action planner it's a to-do list and it's a diary and I have several different forms of journals. I don't try to do all my journaling in the one journal. I love this journal. When I moved to this new studio by myself with my puppy Tess um, about five months ago, I bought this 10-year journal as a positive mental attitude statement. <laughs> And nothing like getting a 10-year journal when you're 75. <laughs> now this one here is um, my beautiful Tomio River journal. And uh, this one has a monthly setup, a weekly setup, and a day to a page setup. And I'm just still using this Deatramus document ink in the red-grey. It's lovely for writing, as you can see. And because I released the novel, on Friday, I was a little bit late in getting to and planning my monthly goals. I kind of needed a little bit of holiday time after that novel release. It had been a lot of work. So um, I'm just sitting out and writing my one month goals now. And um, it's not enough to have as a goal. You need the action plan, the belief on how you're going to achieve them. So I always write down my goals my action plan and then my to-do list so specifically every day I put some things from my action plan onto my to-do list now I've always been very successful in achieving my goals and a lot of it is being clear about what those goals are and I think that's where a lot of people get into trouble with their journaling they don't really understand what a goal is I know um, when I did the Michelle Bridges um, um, 12 weeks <laughs> programs, a lot of people were putting down things like um, drink eight glasses of water as their goal. No, that's an action. It is not a goal. A goal has to be something that you feel passionately about, something that you really want. To illustrate that, I wrote in the monthly goals to do my physio. Now, that is not a goal, that's an action. It, it, I needed to quantify that and actually say 
what my goal was for Zed, like to do 45 of a particular exercise. If I start practicing now, maybe doing five of that exercise tomorrow, by the end of the month, I could build it up to 45. So it needed to be a little bit more specific. And I could even write down for what purpose do I want to be able to achieve those 45 sit-ups. What is the reason why I want to do it? Make it absolutely clear so that it is a goal that you're really wanting. Um, the action of doing video, that uh, that's something that goes in the action plan and the to-do list, a reminder of um, I'm going to do those particular exercises while my coffee is being made in my espresso coffee machine. There's a certain period of time that it takes to grind the coffee and I could be doing those chair physio exercises while my coffee is being ground and if I have a couple of cups of coffee a day well then I'm going to be doing those exercises so I've got a right plan from what the goal is to what the action plan is to what the daily to-do list action will be so I, I tend to plan out my goals quite clearly from why I want something through to making sure there's something on the to-do list for every day that's going to get me towards those goals and that's why I have a tendency to be a reasonably high achiever with goals um, because I really work at it and I, I, I set myself the target so that I can really believe that I can achieve them and I mean it's not easy because quite often my goals can be conflicting I, I want to have more time to do one thing and uh, more time to do another and they conflict so right now for instance I'm writing a novel and I'm also doing these art journals and that is why I have to simplify I'm not going to give you fine art I'm going to do a very quick series of showing you the journaling that I do at the end of the day where I've recorded a little bit of my day in a diary effect I've following my goal plan, um, planning my action plan for the next day and I have to do it in a minimum amount of time. I'm doing it late at night in my nightie and this is the real me. I'm not trying to do a very refined fine art journal. It's, it's a simple art journal showing you how practical an art journal can be not that you have to create fine art you can decorate with washi tape and stickers and all sorts of things you don't have to do artwork but it is fun to do your own artwork it doesn't bulk out your journal as much and it's a lot more personal and it's a lot cheaper too than trying to buy a lot of fancy stickers it's something that's very affordable and enjoyable and if you're like me and you have a number of goals you want to achieve, you have to prioritise them. If they're all number one priority and you don't achieve them, you're going to feel disheartened and discouraged. So I've prioritised writing my next novel. So I'm doing that first in the morning. My morning is allocated to the novel writing. My afternoon is an active afternoon. I need to I need to stay fit so I need to get a little bit of walking a little active exercise I love my gardening I've only got a little courtyard but it's just perfect for getting out there fresh air I'll do my physio in the afternoon and so it's the late at night it's the evening that I'll be doing these art journals and the vlogging to show you what I'm doing showing you today this atramentense <laughs> Atramentous <laughs> document ink and how lovely and permanent it is once you once the ink's dry you can put water over it and it won't bleed which is just great for documents uh, don't know how many people wreck an ink document by splashing water on it it does happen so it's good to have um, inks that you know won't bleed if they get disturbed with water so also 
being pigment based this won't fade as much as the plant based dye based inks so subscribe if you would like to see more of my summary of my day and my plan for the next day journaling